Hi everyone and welcome to Watercolors with Jaylean. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing a birthday cake. Now this is the second birthday cake that I've done this month. The first one was a little bit different than this. And I just wanted to get a couple in so that if you are creating cards for all of the birthdays throughout the year, then um, you have this video as well as the first one. So before we get started today, I just wanted to take a moment and ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy my videos. And also if you'd hit the like button, I'd appreciate that. And don't forget to hit the bell and that way you will be notified when I do post a new video. So before we get started, I want to go over my materials list real quick, which it's pretty basic really. So I just have the little piece of watercolor paper, the solid color background paper, a blank reading card, and matching envelope, which I buy those at the local craft store. And then I do have my small pan of the Grumbacher paints, and we're just using some basic colors today, no mixing or anything. And I have a couple of markers, a, a Sharpie fine point, and then my Micron 02 nib, which is a very fine point. And um, some double-sided tape, and of course, last but not least, my Stickles Glitter Glue Iridescent. So to get started with this, uh, what we're going to be doing is just four layers. And I do start from the bottom and work up. And... Uh, and then I'll show you how I put the card together and everything as well. So let's set that aside for now and we'll get started with this. Now I do have my flat brushes, which is how I create the layers. And uh, so for the first layer, and I don't know if I mentioned it, I start from the bottom and work up. I think, I think I said that. So I'm just putting a little bit of the blue paint on my brush with a lot of water and uh, we'll start and we'll put just one, one line in. And you can see that there's really not a whole lot of paint on the brush. We do want to keep it fairly light because once we start adding some little accents with the markers, that's what really makes it pop. So I have the, the blue, now I'm gonna go and uh, just load my brush up with some of the purple or violet and as you're making these cards if you want to use different color palettes you know that's that's perfectly fine whatever you know trips your trigger really so um, for the second layer again I do have some of the purple on my brush along with a lot of water and so this layer is not going to be as long. We start in just a little bit. And you'll notice that I'm very careful not to touch the bottom layer. I leave just a very thin line of white in between the two because I don't want them to blend together at all. I want to keep them, um, you know, very separate. So now for the next layer, I'm going to do a green and I'm going to load my brush up with the green. And then this layer is, uh, you know, set in just a little bit also. And I need to get just a little more green on my brush. And then very carefully, do not touch the layer below. And then for my top layer, I'm going to use an orange. And it's just, uh, you know, cadmium orange, I believe is the, the name of this orange. All right, and so for this one, it's just a very short layer. And I do just do the four layers. Okay, I wanna make this one just a little darker. I, I went just a little too light on that myself. Okay, so I do have the four layers there, and we want to make sure that these layers dry very well before we start adding uh, details with the markers, uh, because we don't want the markers, you know, bleeding into the uh, paint itself. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to set my paints off to the side, and I'm going to get my Micron, my Sharpie, or my Micron O2 nib marker, and just real quick, draw in the candle and then also draw in a flame. 
And for this candle, for today, I'm going to just put some uh, stripes on the candle with my black, keep it a nice contrast. You know, the black and white candle against the layers, the, the light colored layers. I like the contrast of the two. So we'll put in the flame to the candle real quick while we're waiting for these other paints to dry. And this is really easy to do. I like to just go ahead and add a little bit of yellow. And while that's still wet, we grab a little bit of the orange and just dab it into the bottom. And that way it will blend up through the orange to give that flame a nice, nice color, nice hint of orange in it. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So that still is not totally dry. So while we're still waiting for that, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and uh, draw in my frame around this little painting. And so I put just a little, um, kind of like an X in the corner and then um, three X's on both of the short sides, the bottom and the top, and then an X in the corner. And when I call this an X, it's that's kind of a loose saying for it. It's just a little scribble mark, really. And I just eyeball it. I don't measure it. And then on this side, we're going to do four of the X's. And um, you can see I'm not... 100% straight with my lines and that's okay. That's the look, you know, the characteristic of an original piece. And then down this side. Okay. And, you know, if you do decide to put a frame on yours, if you want to put dots in there or, you know, something else, kind of mix it up a little bit, that, that would be really cute as well. And while we're giving this just a minute to dry, I wanted to mention again that if you are enjoying my video and would like to see more of my work, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help my channel grow. I really appreciate it. Um, so... These, yeah, we want them to dry just another minute or two to make sure that they're they're good and dry before we continue on. So let's check back in a moment. Okay, perfect. I think we've given them enough time to get uh, totally dried out. So we are good to continue on. And so for um, the top one, it's my personal choice that on whenever I make these uh birthday cakes, I always put a heart up here. Now you could put a little flower or anything you want, really. And then I'm going to skip the green for now and go down to my purple one. And I just kind of am putting some big X's on here. And you know, as I mentioned, you could put anything you want on these. Just dress it up the way you like. And then down on this bottom one, I want to do just a simple little scallop. And you can see how quick these cards are, how quick and easy they are. They're a lot of fun. Okay, so for the green layer, I am grabbing my Sharpie. It's, it's a fine point, but it's heavier than... The micron and so for my dots um, you know it just leaves a little bit larger of a dot which is the look that I'm going for so I'm just doing three layers of the intermittent dots and that's it for all of the designing on these now I am going to add just a couple little accent colors uh, the first one is going to be on the little heart on that top layer and I just add a little dab of pink to this and then the next one is going to be down on the blue layer and I'm going to use the same color of blue not even a different shade it's the same color just a little bit heavier on my brush and I just want to add a little 
Oop, I want a little more paint than that is what I want. Okay, just a little bit of an accent. Here, I need just a little bit darker. There we go. And it's just a little bit of an accent on the scallops, just to give it a little bit of depth. So that's it. As far as painting and drawing, um, that's really all that there is to it. And so now what we want to do is put the card together. So to do that, this is the background paper that I'll be using for this card. And you could use other colors. Let me, just real quick, I want to show you how cute the purple is with this as well. So, you know, you could use any colors that you want. And we're going to go with this blue. So for this, uh, let me set this aside. And once again, with my Micron marker, I do want to put a little bit of a frame around this. And so it's basically the same thing. I put the little star or little X in the corner, and then I'm going to do three across here, somewhat evenly spaced. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, so it may not be perfect. And then I want to do four down the side. One, two, three, and four. And then one in the corner. And I, you know, everybody that gets these cards as a, for their, for their birthday, they absolutely love them. They love getting a little piece of artwork from me and uh, very appreciated. You can see I don't space these perfectly. Oopsie. But that's okay. All right, so we have that um, drawn in. So what we will do now is turn this, the little piece of art over. And on this one, I am going to use my, it's a foam double-sided tape. And I just cut basically two little squares and put it, just one on the top, one on the bottom. And I like to use the foam tape because it does give the card a little bit of depth. Okay, so then I um, just kind of eyeball it to get into the center. You can see I don't measure anything with any of these. And that's why they're so, um, each one is so personalized and no two are ever going to be the same for sure. So now with this, what I'm going to do is turn it over. And I could use the double-sided foam tape on this if I wanted. However, I'm just going to use a, a regular flat um, double-sided tape and put a few on here. And then for the plain um, card stock, we're just going to center it as best we can and then put it on there. So now the card is complete. The last thing that we need to do is the funnest, the most fun part, which is the Stickles Iridescent Glitter Glue. This is what makes everything pop and adds a bit of um, whimsy to the birthday. So I put just a little bit, let's get it going here, just a dab onto the flame. And then, you know, I kind of accent different areas throughout the card. So I skip the heart and I skip the the purple layer and I'm you know dotted the dots and then just a little bit on each one of the scallops and basically it's just a quick little dot just enough to give it a little bit of sparkle and then I do always go along the frame of both the piece of artwork and the background paper to give it a little bit of a sparkle, glitter, and you do want to run it on that pretty quick so that it doesn't end up too heavy on the card. All right, so that was the last um, thing that we needed to do, and the card is 100% complete. 
and you can see how quick and easy and fun that was and it is a lot of fun when you start um, you know switching up the the little accent pieces that you put on the various layers and even when you start switching up the color schemes that you use you can really come up with some really cool designs so one more time, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've enjoyed watching this video and watch for more coming up. As I had mentioned, I do put them out weekly. And until next time, ciao for now.